We have a phase passion over here that uh, uh, not only authenticates a person but also it determines if the person is present or not. Now one of the major drawback of face recognition system is that an imposter can present a photograph of a valid authenticated person and still can get authenticated even if he is not uh, authenticated. So the objective of this work is to not only recognize the faces but the, at the same time in order to determine if the face presented is alive or not, if it is not alive, it is not, uh, uh, you know, passed. Now, I'm going to first uh, give it a shot. I'm going to give a train. Once I do training, uh, you know, my face appears over here. So I need multiple version. Of I'm going to start the camera again. So. As you can see, it detects me as a person belonging to class 1. It takes the eye part, lip part, forehead, chin image and tries to match the variations. Now, I am going to click on verify and start lightness detection. When I do lightness detection, it is going to check out the overall changes. It is going to uh, check the overall changes. I am going to make again verify detection. Uh, I'm going to make start camera and if my face is detected properly it will show what I need to do is I need to keep on moving my uh, face parts as that you know there are significant variations in the face not only should I move but at the same time there should be significant movement uh, into uh, each of my body part and it's going to track that movement and it's going to say, say that the person is alive now what I'm going to do is I'm going to train one more person which is just a photograph so I'm going to take this one start the camera I'm going to train this face this is the phase 2 ok now when I train as you can see here the phase 2 of this person appears he is basically a photograph merely a photograph so I will start the camera make a little movement detected class is phase 2 but I am going to again train one more instance so let's stop it now you see I have two cases here I have one face and a live person and the other face which is presented as the photograph. Now when I start the camera and I go for verify and lightness detection even if I make a little movement of this book up down up down but you can see the part of the uh, eyes, leaves, foreheads that remains almost similar. So I am going to keep on moving this and it immediately the person is dead because not recognized now so uh, it does not uh, recognize the changes so I am going to make uh, one more attempt of it to show this so I am going to make this little wavy I will move this such that this system uh, you know, should understand that this person is alive and making little changes though the class detected is 2 it should now be able to tell that this person is dead even though there is a verification so even though there is a verification it uh, still gets detected so this is how the new face biometric should work it should not only recognize the faces but at the same time <coughs> It should check out if the person is alive or not and if only the person is alive under that situation it should be able to you know, uh, authenticate him. So once it detects the person it tracks his body part once it is convinced that this person is alive there is significant variation in each part of uh, the face it authenticates him.